Now, ISRO is set to make a landmark leap in December with the launch of its first human-less Gaganyaan mission, which will feature a humanoid robot named Vyomitra. Now, Vyomitra developed primarily at the Central Tools and Training Center, the, S the CTTC in Bhubaneswar, has been meticulously engineered to replicate human functions in space. Notably, this mission will mark India's first foray into sending a human-like robot into space, allowing scientists to test systems and gather critical data in manless environments. Now, my colleague Dev Kumar spoke to L. Rao Sekar of the Central Tools and Training Centre. Listen into the conversation. ISRO collaborates with uh, Citizens Bhuvaneshwar and the robot, the humanoid robot that has been designed at Citizens Bhuvaneshwar is now going to take its move to space. Joining with us, uh, General Manager of CTTC to discuss more on this. So I would like to know about what the technology that been used and about the manpower and uh, what how long uh, did the team took uh, to develop and design this robot. So I am extremely, <coughs> I am extremely happy to inform you. So ISRO has been given this particular project around two years back. And we started exploring the possibilities, how, what will be the best way of doing a manufacturing of the process. And finally, we have been selected as an additive technology. By using an additive technology, all humanoid parts are being developed at CTTC Bhavanesha. And the total project from starting to ending, it took around four months. More than of around 40 of my colleagues are involved in terms of a post-processing applications and all. And the finally, entire these fabricated parts are being given to the ISRO IAS Trivandrum. And in turn, they have been uh, integrated all the parts and all. And finally, the Proto-1 has been very successful. And in turn, as CTTC Bonesha got two more orders, especially for Gaganyan 2 and Gaganyan 3. Uh, what type of uh, support, Vomitra specified support, uh, is going to provide to ISRO? It takes care about the, it collects entire the details, data of uh, materials, water resources, humidity levels, and uh, the kind of uh, resources available within on the particular moon. And similarly, it gives a lot of information towards the uh, vibrations and different uh, critical data where it's really going to be used for the man mission. 